So you've been hearing a lot about the coronavirus recently and the government's response to it. So I want to address a lot of the myths that have been out there and give you some of the facts. Number one question, do masks help protect you against the coronavirus? Answer, no they don't. They're really just for healthcare professionals and they're not effective at keeping out the virus. Number two, has the Trump administration cut CDC funding? This is false, they haven't. Associated Press had to fact check Mike Bloomberg for making this really dishonest claim. In fact, over the last five years, we've increased funding for a lot of the resources that we need for this kind of epidemic. Number three, is there a vaccine and will it only be available to the rich? So Bernie Sanders and many other Democrats have been making the implication that a vaccine would only be available to the rich. This isn't true because there is no vaccine. It probably won't be available for another year. And we are working hard to make that happen. But right now, we're dedicating resources to better testing and treatments for the disease. Number four, who is most likely to be harmed by this disease? So far, it's the elderly. They're the most vulnerable. If you're worried about your kids, just know that they're the least likely to be harmed by this disease right now. Number five, if we had Medicare for all, wouldn't we be better off fighting against the coronavirus? This is false. As the Wall Street Journal just pointed out, the kind of innovation for treatments and vaccines that we need to battle the coronavirus, that all comes from the private industry. That kind of innovation and research and development that's actually been happening even before this epidemic, it would all be put to a halt when you implement price controls that are inherent in the Medicare for all scheme. And last, did President Trump call the coronavirus a hoax? Is he really downplaying it? Of course not. What he was saying was he was tired of the Democrats trying to politicize this entire thing. Okay, when he says don't panic, it doesn't mean that he's not taking it seriously. It doesn't mean that our government as a whole isn't taking it very, very seriously. Of course we should, but we also shouldn't panic. We don't want everybody to worry. We want everybody to be safe. So if you have questions on what to do, here's the number that you can call to the CDC to ask your questions or give them information that you think might be useful. Remember to wash your hands, and if you're feeling sick, stay at home. We're all in this together, and our government is doing everything we can to make sure that the American people are safe.